Hi students, welcome to this course on inventory valuation. In this course, we are going to learn about what is inventory and how to value this inventory for the purpose of presenting it in the financial statement. For that, we should have knowledge on what is inventory. We are talking about valuation of inventory, so we should know what is inventory. So inventory can be classified into three types. Inventory can be classified into three types. So I'll have them here. One, it can be an asset which is available for sale. It is available for sale in the ordinary course of business. Or we can also say that inventory is something which is in the process of production. Or we can also say that inventory is basically a raw material or supplies they are basically the raw material or supply they have to be consumed in the production process so what you understand is inventory is basically some assets which you are keeping with you for sale or it is something which is in the process of production or it may be in the form of raw material or supplies which have to be consumed in the production process or in rendering services. So what you can conclude is this is raw material stock. This is a work in progress or stock in progress stock and this is nothing but finished goods. So inventories are basically raw material, work in process and finished goods. The raw material can be the raw material which you have to consume for production. It may be consumables, it may be loose tools, anything. And work in process is something where you put in the raw material, you engage labor, you can you start using your machinery, income, incur expense on that. So all those would constitute your work in process. And finished goods can be either your trading merchandise or it can be software or it can be any kind of asset, but you are keeping it for what purpose? For selling. Intention is selling. So that constitutes or all the three constitutes inventory but here we have to understand that inventory does not include certain items what are they say for example you have certain spares you have certain spares but related to machinery i mean you don't have any intention to consume the spare for service or you don't have any intention to consume the spare for selling but it has to be used only in connection with an fixed asset and its use is not expected to be regular then such spares or such items would be constituted as part of plant and machinery and not inventory. So in the previous video we have understood what is inventory let us understand the significance of inventory valuation. Why inventory valuation is important or significant? There are four reasons why inventory valuation is significant. The reason number one can be, if you want to know what is the true income earned by a business, by a business entity, you should do correct inventory valuation. What happens if inventory valuation is wrong? See, the inventory valuation can have two or say four effects. I mean, when we say inventory, there are going to be two types of inventory. I mean, the opening inventory and you will also have what is known as closing inventory. So there are two kinds of inventory and valuation of these inventories will have significant bearing on your profit. Let's say you have a, a overstated opening inventory. What will have or what will be the effect of overstated or higher opening inventory? Say by mistake you have higher opening inventory. It means your expense is going to increase and it will bring down your profit. So what will happen if you have understated opening inventory? If you have understated opening inventory, your expenses would be less so your profit would be inflated and we can have the opposite effect on closing inventory. If you have more of closing inventory that is if you have 
overstated closing inventory your expenses would be less and your profit would be more and if you have understated closing inventory you have more expense and you have less profit so in case of understated inventory you will have a more expense and less profit so this can be the kind of effect on the profits of the company and the inventory will also have effect on your balance sheet your liquidity everything etc so if you want to know what is the true income of the business entity you should do correct valuation of inventory the second one you should know true financial position of the business entity and for that you should know what is the correct inventory if you want to know the true financial position because true financial position can be derived from what is known as a balance sheet balance sheet only gives you the true financial position and it can give you the true financial position only when all its assets are captured correctly and assets include current assets and current assets include inventory so if your inventory is not valued correctly then your current asset is not correct then your total asset is not correct then your balance sheet will not will not give you what is the true financial position the next important reason for valuation of inventory is to know the liquidity of the business how do you know whether the business has liquidity what is liquidity first of all liquidity is nothing but your ability of the business to pay your short term obligations so how would you pay your short term obligations short term obligations would be paid from short term resources what is short term resources short term resources are nothing but current assets and what are current assets any assets which can be repaid within one year but the significant portion of current asset will comprise inventory so if you want to measure the liquidity position of the company that is to your ability to repay short term obligation you should have short term resources which are nothing but current asset and it includes significant portion of inventory so if your inventory computation is wrong then your current asset is wrong then your short term resources long is wrong then the ability which you are measuring could also go wrong your measurement itself could go wrong and the fourth reason why you should do inventory valuation correctly is to ensure compliance with statutory requirements in every company i'm sorry in every country there would be statutory requirement to ensure the country's accounting standards or international accounting standards and those standards particularly mandates they should ensure compliance with inventory valuation i mean every business entity should ensure compliance with inventory valuation procedure prescribed in the accounting standards or uh, say ifrs and they should also ensure compliance with the statutory legislation say for example in india it is indian companies act Indian Companies Act 2013 mandates the company to ensure compliance with inventory valuation procedure which are prescribed in accounting standard 2 similarly there are many other accounting standards in respective countries and ifrs which mandates that you should have correct valuation of inventory